Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're finally getting some multi board up on the wall. It's been a process. It's taken us some time to get here because I started printing on my Ender 3 Pro, then I got a V2 Neo, and I was going slow. It takes about 13 hours uh, per multi board grid with that. A stack of four was taking three days. It was taking a long time. I did some upgrades. Needless to say, I shouldn't have. The upgrades downgraded and caused me a lot of headaches. I finally got somewhere and got some stuff printed. Um, hey, wait, let's talk about one more thing, get it out of the way. Let's talk about multi-board. You know, I know in the comments people are going to say multi-board is a ripoff of Gridfinity. And listen, it might be. But, you know, look at movies today. Movies today are just remakes, stolen storylines. Same thing with shows on TV. So, you know what? If it is, it is. You do you, I'll do me, and me is doing multi-board. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. I have printed at least the start. I still think I need to print more of multi-board. So what is multi-board? It's a grid system uh, with a bunch of snaps in there. Um, it's got the pegboard holes. It's pretty flexible. You can put shelves on it. You can put pegs in it, hooks on it, all kinds of stuff. Um, the first thing we got to do is get it up on the wall. So there are three parts to the multi-board grid. There's the corner tile. Then there is the side tile. Side tiles have three sides without the corners, these little things. Um, and these fit into the adjacent one. And then there is a core tile. And a core tile has two sides of triangles and two sides without. All right. So that's, that's what multi-board is. Um, on top of that, you need a mounting system, and that's where all this orange is here. And I think orange and white and gray are just going to look really good together, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, but anyway, so the mounting system, these are 8 millimeter standoffs, all right? You have quads, you have dual or double snaps, and then you have single snaps. And there's two parts. There's an A part, which is the one that goes up on the wall, and then there's a B part that locks it in. Um, I only have the A parts because I'm going to lock it in after. So, how do we put this together? Well, I'm going to put you on the tripod here and show you. All right, so now here you are on the tripod. All right, great. I got my hands free. Um, we're going to start with a corner tile. In a corner tile, you're going to need to start with a standoff. I printed these uh, 8 by 9. The reason I did that was after measuring out my wall where I want to put it right there, I needed a nine at the end. And after a lot of like figuring and what am I going to do, you know, I just went ahead and I subscribed to, uh, to be a supporter of multi-board. And that actually allowed me to change the size of the grid that I wanted. I didn't have to use one of the stock ones, um, which you can download for free and all this you can do for free. But things like custom sizes you can't and uh, custom cutouts you can't either. And this is going to be important for when we get to the light switch. All right, so let's get this mounted or at least show you how. So you're going to take your multi-grid uh, and I'm going to look to make sure I'm using the side I want. You're going to take a single and we're going to start with our single down in the corner. And it just snaps in there, all right? Um, you would, if you wanted to, you would put the locking, the B part on there, um, and you would snap that in and it would lock the board together, but we're, we're not there yet. All right, so this is the first part, and I'm just going to use one of these as a standoff. Um, I'm going to have this one multi-grid one multi -grid above, above the table here. So that's going to go there. Now, the next thing we're going to want is we're going to want to put on our um, light switch, right? And this can only go one way. I wish it was the other way, to be honest. All right, so how are we going to attach these? Well, we're going to use one of these double snaps. And let me back you up just a little bit here so you can see what's going on. There we go. The double snap, you snap into one side. And these have arrows up and down. You snap into, you snap into that side. 
that side there. Now you are connected. You have a loose one over here, all right? Because we're going to be expanding that way, we're gonna be using a quad snap because we're gonna be attaching more board over here. So to do that, I would be using a core tile. So we have core tiles, side or corner tiles, side tiles, and core tiles, all right? And now the core tile, again, we find the side we want, and it is going to match up right in there, and voila. Now at the same time, now that you've done that, I don't know if you noticed, down here is loose. So we gotta put this in here. If you haven't noticed, you have a lot of snaps on these to hold this all together. So the bigger board you can print, if you're putting it up on a wall, the better, because then the less snaps, I guess, you will have. You are going to turn your wall into Swiss cheese if you ever want to take this down. Just understand that, okay? Like, you are going to have Swiss cheese, because you're going to be putting in a lot of holes. Um, but this looks so much better than pegboard. Is it cheaper? I don't know. If you have a 3D printer, it's quite possibly going to be cheaper depending on the size. For me, it ain't cheaper, that's for sure. A piece of pegboard I could have thrown up here in a couple hours, made it look pretty, had all my stuff back together. But this is 2024. We want this to look nice. All right, so we've got this in place. Um, we're going to continue building up the wall. To do that, I am going to throw another double snap and another side tile. All right, let me make sure I got the right side. Uh, I do. And put that together. And I just want to hold it in place, so I'm going to put another quad, because I know I'm going to need it. The boom, the boom, the boom. Um, my printing tolerances, they were pretty good. Um, some boards are better than other. I do have some stringing and, and stuff like that, but you know what? It's been a while, so we're at it. Now, I did figure out, let me pull you back even further here. Uh, is that, yeah, that's going to work. I did figure out that I'm going to need uh, a 9 by 8, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. And because I wanted to go right to the top, I printed a shorter one. And again, only if you're a supporter could you do that. So that's what it's going to look like with all of these cool standoffs hanging on it. Um, but before we can get there, we have to start drilling in our um, our standoff so that we can start supporting the multi-board. Just know where your studs are. Make sure you're not going to go into a water pipe, uh, an electrical cord, or I don't know, something else. All right? You're forewarned. So the way I'm going to do this is, like I said, I have this. I'm just going to look to make sure. Um, I have this... And down you go. Uh, one, I'm just using a multi-board layer or tile to get it off of my desk here. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it where I want it, and then I'm going to come through and I'm going to stab all of the holes that I'm going to need to come back and either drill or screw into. Um, I am going to try and make sure that this is level. Uh, as well, I have to grab my level from the other room. Um, now, this is going to be hard because... Oh, look at that. It is level. Son of a gun. Great. Um, once I get the first couple level, everything else should be okay as long as I do it in order. So that's here. That's what we're going to be doing. As you can see, we've got tons of pieces and a lot of multi-board to go. I'm actually thinking I'm only going to make it halfway, but you know what? It's a start, and I'm I'm pretty excited because this looks pretty good already. Um, we are going to have to do some more printing around our plug over there, and we have to figure out you know our monitor as well. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching this. Like and subscribe. Um, on, I guess really this is part two of my multi or journey because everything else was how to fix the darn Ender 3 
uh, which continually just kicked me in the nuts. Hey, have a good one. I'm Doug and I'm doing stuff.